Hi, happy gardener friends. Two months ago, I attached a Don Juan climbing rose to a trellis. I stopped by the garden today. I wanted to take a look, see how well it was doing. And wow, it has really taken off. In fact, it has really taken off. It is growing in every which way, all different directions. Wow. There are three very important steps that need to be followed when attaching a climbing rose to a trellis. And I realize now that I skipped step number two. I didn't realize how important it was to do at the time that I planted the rose. So now I have a little bit of a mess on my hands. It's nothing that can't be corrected, but I wanted to help you avoid having the same problem that I have. So I've created a video and in today's video, we're going to quickly talk about why we attach a climbing rose to a trellis the way that we do. And we'll then go over the three most important steps that everybody must do in order to have success with their climbing rose on their trellis. So please take a quick minute to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. In addition to making our patio look beautiful, the purpose of this climbing rose is to fill in this trellis so that we can have some privacy from the neighbors. So first I'll explain why we attach a climbing rose to the trellis the way that we do. Roses have canes that grow out from the stem. You and I might call them branches. They are called canes. This is a main cane. There is a second cane called a lateral cane and that grows off of the main cane. This is where the flower grows. We definitely want to have lots of lateral canes because then we'll have lots of flowers. So in order to get as many lateral canes as we can, we need to attach our main cane horizontally. So now you know why we attach the main cane to the trellis horizontally, because we want to get the most laterals as we can. Next, how are we gonna do that? Now we need to choose three or four healthy main canes to attach to our trellis. So I'm going to prune away everything that doesn't look good and healthy, and, and then we're going to attach just those three or four to the trellis. I took all of my main canes down from the trellis so that I could start over. If you plant the stem of your rose as close as possible to the trellis, almost underneath the trellis, it will make it easier for you to guide your main cane up onto your trellis. Can you see this beautiful main cane right here? We're going to attach that to the trellis. These three main canes are growing away from the trellis and out into the yard. So we're going to remove this one, this one, and this one. It's best to do it now while the plant is young and that way all of the plant's energy can go into this main cane, making our trellis beautiful. Now we've gotten to the fun part. Step one, we selected the most healthy and good looking canes. Step two, we've pruned away anything that was sick, broken, damaged, or growing away from the trellis. And now step three, we get to attach it to our trellis. You can see behind me, I've already set it up on the trellis, kind of getting an idea of which direction I want to go. Come on. And I went ahead and attached each of those main canes to the trellis with a plan in mind. And as my main canes grow, I'm going to zigzag them back and forth up the trellis until they all fill in and reach the top. Another important thing to note is that it's gonna take a good three years before your climbing rose actually blooms to its fullest. What that means is the first year, it's going to primarily just be green. The second year, you're gonna get some blossoms on there, but the third year is really when it explodes and becomes what you've wanted it to be. So my suggestion for that first year is maybe consider planting a clematis, something like that that can trellis up it as well so that mixed in with all of that green, you have some pretty color. Make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna come back in about four weeks from now and we're going to attach the new growth that is starting to grow and we can do that together as well. So get your rose, get it attached to your trellis. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in four weeks from